let's now introduce more problems and hopefully we'll yeah we have uh, 15 minutes so now we will introduce two problems first problem is vertex cover you know all of these problems are known to be MP complete but we will be doing exercises you know assuming that one is known prove that the other is MP complete so vertex cover is very, a problem that can be described as follows if I give you a, a graph like this um, a B C D and E okay uh, yeah so if I give you a graph like this now the you are given a graph you you need to find a minimum number of vertices that covers a minimum number of vertices that cover all edges so you need to select uh, the minimum number of vertices such that every edge in the graph is covered so here clearly you know a because it's it has many edges so if we use a we cover this edge this edge this edge and this edge so if we use a we will cover four edges but we will still have one more edge to cover so we can cover it using c or b of course you know this example makes it look easy but in general this is a hard problem so you know one possible application of this is that you know suppose that these edges represent roads and the, the vertices represent intersections for example and you would like to put you know at a certain traffic sign such that all roads will have it or you want to post an ad for example you want to post some ad and you would like to have uh, to cover all roads so an intersection when you put it at an intersection you cover all the roads that intersect at that point so if you put uh, your ad at a here you are covering four roads so vertices that have uh, vertices that have more edges incident to them will cover more edges so now what's the minimum number of ads that you need to post such that all roads are covered okay so this is one uh, one possible application of this problem so we can easily describe the problem given given a, a an undirected graph find the minimum the oh, minimum number of vertices that cover all edges And in this example, we, we have an example. Now, is this an optimization problem or a decision problem? It's an optimization, optimization. It's an optimization problem. Now, so this is optimization. Now, what's the decision version? Vertex cover decision. And the target what? Target is a vertex. Well, not minimum. So you're given a graph and a target what? What's, what's the target here? Two. No, two is the solution to this example. Okay, so two is the solution to this example. What's, what should the target be? Set of vertices. Minimum number of vertices. Well, a number of vertices. T is a number of vertices. So vertex cover decision given 
an undirected graph and a target T determine if all edges can be covered using T vertices or less. So to transform a or recast an optimization problem into a decision problem, you look into the quantity that you are trying to minimize. What's the quantity that you are trying to minimize here? The number of vertices. So you set a target for the quantity that you are trying to minimize. The quantity that I'm trying to minimize here is the number of vertices. So I set a target. I see, okay, can I achieve, can I do it with T or less vertices? So this is the decision version of the vertex cover problem. Now, the, the other problem is the set cover problem. So the set cover problem given a set S and M subsets of S find the minimum mini mom number of subsets whose union gives s so for example Uh, five, six, nine, three. This is the set. And the subsets are five, five, nine, three. Uh, six and nine, six and three. Okay. Uh, so we need to find a minimum number of subsets. So we're given a set and four subsets. We're given a set and four subsets, and we need to find the minimum number of subsets that cover the original set. So which subsets can we use in this example? So clearly this is going to cover three elements for us, right? So this will cover three elements, five, nine, and three, and we need another set that covers six. So we can pick one of these two. And that will cover six. Now with these two subsets, with two subsets, we managed to cover the original set. So the answer here is the minimum number of subsets that cover the original set is two. So now let's recast this as a decision problem. Set cover decision. Now, what's the quantity that we are trying to minimize? Number, number of sets. Subsets. subsets. Number of subsets. So this is the quantity that we are trying to minimize. So to convert this into a decision problem, what do we do? Set a target for this quantity that we are trying to, uh, to minimize. So set cover decision given 
a set S and M subsets of S determine if S can be covered using T or less of the given subsets. T or less of the given subsets. Okay? Is MP complete? Yeah, both of them are MP complete. Now, the question is, knowing that given that vertex cover is known to be MP complete, prove that set cover is MP complete. So the question is, given that vertex cover is known to be MP-complete, known to be MP complete, prove that uh, set cover is MP complete. Now the first step we need to show that vertex cover is, sorry, set cover is verifiable in polynomial time. So set cover belongs to NP and this is usually easy you know this verifiability part is usually very easy so how do we verify that set cover is uh, verifiable in polynomial time what does it mean just check if all the elements of subsets are so someone is going to give you two subsets uh, sorry not two subsets a number of subsets T subsets M someone is going to give you T subsets so first you should verify that the given number of subsets is equal to the target. So if the target is three, they should give you three or less. Then you just make sure that the, you take the union and if the union gives you the original set, you are done, that verifies it. So verifiability is usually very easy. Now the tricky part is to, so you just write down what we have just said. Now we need a reduction need to reduce set cover to, s to vertex cover or vertex cover to set cover? Excellent. Yeah, vertex cover to set cover. So now I assume that I have a solver for set cover. So it takes S and you can give it subsets, you know, let's call them T1, not T, mm, maybe, uh, okay, um, uh, yes, uh, R1, R2 through Rm. So now, how can you reduce vertex cover to set cover. So I give you a solver for set cover and you have a vertex cover instance. How can you solve, a, how can you transform any vertex cover instance into a set cover instance? So think about what covers what? What is being covered and by what? So in, in vertex cover, A vertex or a set of vertices, set of vertices covers All edges. edges. So in, in set cover, set of subsets
set of subsets covers what? Original set. Hmm? All the elements of the original set. Yeah. Covers elements. So, you know, we're trying to find a mapping between the two problems. So, in this case, vertices, vertices cover edges. And here, subsets cover elements. Well, so how do we do this mapping? Um, we can pass the vertices as the set. And... Uh, uh, for every uh, vertex. Well, the vertices as the set. So the what is to be covered is the set of elements. So we're trying to cover the elements. We pass what the edges as the. We pass the edges. Yeah. So it looks like we are running out of time anyway. Uh, so we will. Uh, maybe we should give you this to think about for next time. Uh, you know, try to to get to get this figured out without. Uh, uh, Google in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So try to, you know, practice. Instead, you can Google it and then you will find a solution, you know, somewhere on the web. But, you know, try to use it as a, uh, as an example for practice because we will do it uh, next time. We're almost done with the material.